what is an amazing application for sending and receiving the whatsapp messages as it has the access of official whatsapp business api and whenever you are using such type of application for sending the messages you will always have to create a whatsapp message template first get it approved via facebook and then only you will be able to initiate the conversations with your customers clients and user using such template so in this video i'll show you how to create whatsapp message template in Vati and how to get the approval of those templates. So this is the dashboard of Vati. Currently I'm into the template section and here you can notice a lot of templates are already created and even approved. Few of them are still actually into the draft mode. Don't worry about that. I'll show you everything from scratch that how to create a new template message and get approved. Okay. So simply click on this green button that is new template message and then provide a random name to your template. Okay. So I'm providing the name something like send form submission message okay yes i want to send a basic thank you message to the form submitter so i have provided this particular name now it will ask you to select the category so if you are sending some offer or discount related message go with this marketing category if you are sending some otp or transaction related message go with this authentication or if you are sending some order confirmation message or a basic thank you message go with this utility so i am going with the same category now selecting a language Language as this English US you can select the language of your choice now it will ask you to select the broadcast title so if you want to send any attachment along with your message something like this you can select any broadcast title or you can also go with none let's say you want to select a text you want to send a text you can choose this text and whatever you will write here you can see the preview of very same text here so what you can write here something like thank you for submitting the form let me correct the spelling okay thank you for submitting the form so this is how you can provide the text along with your header in this particular video i'll show you how you can send any attachment along with your message okay so how about i go with this document now whatever you are planning to send you will have to add the link of that particular document that to into the pdf format here in this particular field or you can directly upload that media from here okay so i have already prepared a brochure link that to into the pdf format okay so how about i directly paste this here all right here you can notice the preview of the very same brochure and if you want to send some dynamic file a dynamic content in this header you will have to add a variable here instead of this link how you can add this variable or how you can send a dynamic file i will create a separate video for the same or i will also attach that video in the description of this video but currently we will go with the static content only that is the static document okay so in this way you will have to add the link of that brochure of that file that to into the pdf format now scrolling down and from this body section you can compose your message okay so whatever i will write here again you can find the very same text basically the preview of this text here also all right now you can also notice the button of adding the variable now what is this variable okay so whatever the values you want to keep on changing automatically as soon as a new form submission is made you can add those values in the form of variable you can add as many as variables as you want but there is a limit of this message of this 1024 words okay so let's say i want that whenever someone will submit the form the name of the form submitter should appear here automatically so i have added that specific value in the form of variable now i will write something like thank you for submitting the form okay i have added the same and let me tell you whatever the content we are writing here normally will remain same but whatever the content we are writing in the form of variable will vary as soon as a new form submission is made okay now why i am adding these variables because we are going to use the single template message to send the message to all the form submitter so that is why it is important to add those variables you can also do the 
formatting of your message from here you can also add the emoji from here all right so i have added the same let me also add this basic smiley now i would also like to attach the details of the form let's say the person is sharing the name with me or an email id with me so i would like to share the same details here also just to confirm that the details are correct name email and phone number okay currently i am proceeding with the basic details only thank you for submitting the form we have received your details all right and here i am attaching the details one by one and again after this name email and phone number again i am going to add the variables you can also add the variables from here or how about we add the variable directly basically by typing okay so i have added the same let me also add this third variable as the phone number okay so i hope you have understood everything that how you can create a content for your message template now i will add something like regards a b c team all right i hope it is looking good now it's turn for the footer footer are great to add any disclaimers or to add a thoughtful ps so you can write something like enter unsubscribe to stop receiving the message and again it is completely optional so it's your choice whether you want to share whether you want to add any content asking for the buttons the very interesting part of this message template so you can add two types of button a quick reply button or a call to action button in call to action button again you have two choices either you can add a visit website button or you can add a call phone number button okay so how about i show you how you can add this visit website button so firstly you will have to provide a text something like visit now and you can add the link of your website something like https colon and this www.abc.com in this way you can add a link of your website along with this visit now button you can additionally add one more button of this call phone you just need to again provide a button text something like call now and you can add your phone number in this particular way now i'll show you how your buttons will look like yes you can see the preview of your message from here so this is how your message will look like and the details will appear here automatically don't worry the message will not look like this along with the curly braces these curly braces will be replaced automatically with the actual details scrolling down and here i have provided two buttons and let me tell you one more very interesting thing you also have the option to send the dynamic links let's say you have a fixed url initially and after that your link is getting changed so what you can do is initially you can fix your first url and after that you can add a variable once again okay so abc.com and here you can add the variable let's say i add the variable something like one okay how you can send the dynamic url using some automation software i'll explain you later in the video so i hope you have understood about this button part asking for the sample content yes once your template is ready the content part the category part the button part and the footer part after that you will have to provide the sample well just enter the sample content here make sure you not include any actual user or customer information and provide only sample content in your example yes you just need to add a sample and example content so we have the first variable as name so in place of name i can add demo user a random name basically we are defining the system that what values may come in place of these variable how about i add the email address as demo user at pablitudes.com further enter content for the phone number variable so again i am going to add a dummy phone number here in this way you can provide the sample content and again telling you if you will provide a relevant example in the sample content again the chances of getting your template approved will definitely increase enter content for the link okay so how about i I add the link something like best email marketing 
software okay so i have provided the variable value basically what will come after this particular static link what value will come what url may come i have defined so i think i have provided all the details now it's turn to submit your template now before you click on the save and submit button make sure you review your template from this preview section if everything is looking good finally you can click on this button save and submit and then it will ask you make sure you have chosen a category that matches the content in the template to avoid the rejection okay so i have already provided an appropriate category clicking on this yes button all right so my template is submitted and currently it is actually into the draft mode and the approval time for the template takes 30 minutes to two business days subject to facebook team approval yes facebook team is going to take few hours maybe 30 minutes or two days at least so you will have to wait for the approval let me click on this okay button and here you can notice currently my template is actually pending i will have to wait for at least a few minutes or maybe for next to two days for the approval well here you can notice as soon as i have refreshed it my template has been approved yes in this way by selecting an appropriate category and by providing every proper detail in your message you can get your template approved very quickly i hope you have understood how to create the message template in wati now you can start sending the messages to your customers clients and user using this approved message template thank you for watching this video not just these applications you can integrate multiple applications and automate your business with pabli connect you can ask your queries at forum.pabli.com my team will surely answer to your questions this is the website of pabli connect and for the latest updates of pabli connect and unique automation ideas you can join our facebook group that is formgate.deals if you have found this video helpful in any way share it with your friends and colleagues and also help them to automate their business like share and subscribe thank you for watching this video